everybody! Minasan, konnichiwa! How is everybody doing? I am Takoyashi, your palm tree friend! And welcome to another Princess Connect video! Today we have a new ally who has arrived! And if you saw my video I released yesterday, I was just saying there's a lot of new characters that are being introduced in the story, chapter 3. Surely some of them will soon be released in a gotcha! And the day later we have one, we have Lily Fallen version. So let's go in and have a little look at what she does. She is a physical damage dealing character which was a bit of a surprise. Initially I thought, and maybe a lot of you did, that she would be magical. But she's not, she is a physical damage dealing character. So if we take our little look at her UB, her UB is called Shadow Split and it inflicts large physical damage on one enemy in front of you. The skill damage increases with the number of shadows you have and it spawns two shadows. Now her skill one is remnants of flowers which massively increases the physical attack power of all allies in range which sounds rather good. She is going to be buffing everybody around her. I've seen as Lily sits in the mid range, this range of her physical attack power buff probably will hit most of the characters that you would want to run, most of the physical damage dealing characters because, well, there's a lot in the middle, there's a lot up front, and there's several behind that, that sit in the rear, the archers, and being a mid range character. There's a good chance, I don't know exactly what the range of this is, but it's a good chance that it will hit a lot of your physical damage dealing units. So there we go, that is pretty good. Uh, skill 2, if we jump over to that, is Kurobain Advanced Payment. Now, Kurobain. It says that she uses the power of Kurobain to control the sky. Now, me and my not so good Japanese translation, I this think Kurobain is dark wings. She uses her dark wings, or her black wings, to cut the power of her black wings to control the sky. Anyway, this skill, Kurobain's advanced payment, inflicts massive physical damage to first enemy in front and slightly lowers physical defense. So there is a very small physical defense debuff there, which is useful to have. It doesn't sound like she will be the best physical defense debuffer in the game, but she's definitely it's definitely worth having on there. It's better to have that than not have that. Her EX skill is Fallen Mode. Ah, uh, Fallen Mode, which increases her physical attack, and I assume that five star will massively increase her physical attack. Now, Lily has got a special skill which is called Fallen Feather and it makes her fly. Now then, what happens when she flies? When she flies she cannot take damage from ranged attacks. So I did look at a little bit of gameplay of her that other people have posted who have already pulled her and what it looks like this means is when she is in this flight mode, which she'll have a little whist whistly whirlwind around her, so you'll notice she's in flight mode. Any mob that throws something, those annoying monkeys that throw rocks at you, that silly yeti that throws rocks at you, um, none of them will be able to damage her while she's flying, which sounds pretty damn cool. <laughs> that sounds like pretty damn good skill to have. Now, we haven't mentioned the shadows. If we go back into her UB, it says that she spawns two shadows. So every time she UBs, she spawns two shadows. Now these shadows will attack. So they they do the, the amount of damage she can do probably can ramp up quite significantly with the amount of shadows that she has. These shadows attack with her and can do damage so we need to use her a little bit more but that looks like these shadows are going to really increase 
hair potential to do damage. I'm not sure if they can take damage themselves, what it takes to, for them if they disappear. I, what I've seen, there really wasn't enough tax on her to see if they can sort of take one hit and she can survive. Uh, you know, basically like Nenica, who summons a clone of herself and then that clone takes a hit and dies. The same with Chica and her little spirits. I'm not sure if they work like that, but they definitely attack and each one attacks with the same strength as Lily herself. So, yes, there was a lot of um, potential damage there with all the shadows that she can summon. Now then, will we summon for Lily? Yes, I probably will summon for Lily, definitely. Especially if you're a, a EN refugee and you don't have many units. If you can save 30,000 to go to pity, anything over that, is definitely worth putting in on this banner. Even maybe a few more because this banner will be up for, let's have a little look, this banner will be up until the 25th. So we've got until the 25th of April to summon for Lily. Now I think that covers just about everything. That was my interpretation of it. I think she looks quite a good unit. Probably better for clan battle and fighting bosses. More single target though I suppose. Although her um, physical attack power buffs will help other units and um, her damage she can do will probably go quite high. So yeah, against bosses maybe more single target should be very good. Not so much in PvP but maybe well, your PvP go over pretty quick, so she won't have summoned too many of these shadows. So yeah, definitely a boss fighting unit, physical boss fighting unit. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful for everybody, and join me for my next video, which will be summoning for her, so we can see if we can remove the curse of my JP account. Thank you everybody for watching, I am Takori Yashi, your palm tree friend, and I will see you all again in another video! Bye-bye. Bye-bye.